That is I'll give the, you the dozens extra. and dozens of my fans cheering to like <laughs> be able to look at my thinking face today. Oh boy. You can't hear Aaron, but you can hear Whoa. Trevor and B Dave. Well, got, hi. We got a mute in there. That's what all. Yeah, we're, we're do this? Can you hear me now? We're doing uh, a hello. Eh? Eh? Big weary, Maybe. The big worry I have is that we're going to end up with like echoes and echoes. Oh, okay. Now, now now they can hear you. We're not yes. echoing. Beautiful. No voice of God. May that be the no voice of God. <laughs> okay. Well. Aaron is quiet. That is literally the first time anyone's ever said that to me since I was. <laughs> okay. And I can't see any. Now I've got all my stupid screens too big. Uh, it's true. We're Just imagine, away. imagine Trevor's beautiful. He's gorgeous. Look at him. <laughs> uh, but here's how it's gonna go. Uh, we're going to do some Pomodoro sprints. So for 25 minutes, you are going to work on whatever it is that you've brought with you today. Maybe that's writing, maybe it's editing, maybe it's revising a project. Whatever it is, you're going to focus on that for 25 minutes. And so are we. Uh, then we're going to take a five minute break. The break's important. Take take a, uh, a moment away from your project. Give yourself a little break. Um, on concentration check, we have themes for our breaks. So our first break is the what are you working on break. So we'll chat about what we've been working on. Our second break is the get up and move break because you'll have been sitting for an hour. It's a good idea to get up and stretch your legs. This is also when Twitch is going to make us show some ads. So if you get up, you don't have to watch the ads. You also don't have to watch the ads if you're one of our subscribers. Um, case, thank you so much for helping us uh, make cool content like this show. Uh, I see my screen has frozen. Wonderful. Okay, I will work on fixing that. Our third Before our third break, which is uh, hand stretches. Uh, and then our fourth break is a long break. So think about what you want to talk about, especially since B Dave's here. Yeah. Uh, and we will we will chat for a little bit. Okay. Uh, I love yeah. I love the I love the idea that not only have we not previously chatted for hundreds of hours, we chat weekly. But you know what? But now we're chatting live. Chatting live. We're chatting live. <laughs> also, it does look like you're making a hell of a it point is, where it froze, though. It, there's that. If I push yep. this reset button, Trevor, am I going to regret it? What reset button? I don't know. It just says reset. Where? Says uh, stats. Maybe I shouldn't touch it. No. Okay. Is it an OBS? Uh, Donate it an OBS. No, please don't. An OBS. That's beautiful. Okay. Uh, actually maybe. Like Zoom might be where I'm screwed up. Uh, uh, yeah, you're, you're frozen. You're, yeah, you're, you're frozen in Zoom. Yeah. So, well, let me, if, if I might make a suggestion, even though I'm a guest in your house. Please do. Let's start the timer. Let's and then that. and then shut your camera off and back on and it should all drop into place but if it doesn't oh. drop into place at least the ball's rolling hopefully yep. all right everybody ready so ready that's what I do i solve problems yeah three two one let's go mm, 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 it's not mm, 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 pomodoro Pomodoro, Pomodoro. Let's go. Writing stuff. Pomodoro, Pomodoro. There you are. You're back. I'm done stalling.
Ooh, 30 second warning. <gasps> dun dun dun. <laughs> dun dun dun. Go so fast. Okay, it's time for a break. Wee, 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 wee. I was in the middle of a sentence. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do find when when I do pomodoros, I tend to do them in chunks of two. Yeah. I find. Yeah. I have said before that I would love to run a second uh, version of this in the middle of the week uh, with 40 minute sprints and call it Warcaster Edition. I love it. Mm, valid. But we're working get, on it. Get all the word count. Yeah. So this time but, for a break. This is our what are you working on break. So guys, what are you working on? B Dave, what are you working on? A thing I'm so far behind on. <laughs> uh, a, 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 a screenplay. Um, an action screenplay. Um, I got tapped to do it a couple of months ago. It was like, of course, I'll knock it out. And then uh, life started lifing. And then mm. I had to travel quite a bit. And then now it's now. I mean, <laughs> now it's now. And now it's now, you know? And they're being cool about it, but they are like, hey, so what's happening with that screenplay? Because normally one of my competitive advantages is, is how fast I am. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I can, it is baffling to me that people take months to do what I can do in like a week. So, yeah, can't yeah, complain. That was quick. Trevor, what are mm -hmm. you working on? Uh, I am actually working on that book that was giving me trouble. Um, yeah, I uh, yesterday night I decided, you know what? Uh, I'm waking up in the morning and I'm gonna go get some like breakfast food for my wife and I, and then uh, I'm gonna write. And so I actually started writing this morning and skipped over the thing that was giving me trouble, and I'm in the zone now and I'm enjoying the hell out of this. Um, so I'm continuing on with the scene, and I'm I'm very happy with it. I made a very sudden character change in the middle of this chapter and i'm like well no uh, um, it's early on enough i'm it's good to do it now so here we go <laughs> hey you know they they reveal themselves to you as much as they reveal themselves to the reader seriously seriously <laughs> and i spent my first sprint wrestling with obs <laughs> seems to be behaving a little better now um yeah. and begging my agent to tell me that my new title isn't terrible <laughs> So, but I'm going to start working on uh, the new RuneScape book. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yay. And then embroidery if I don't want to do that. Like, uh, like, like, like writing it? Yes. Because I turned in, I don't think I told you guys, I turned in my first draft for <gasps> Season of Sacrifice, I guess. Um, hey. But that's so good. It's the done. Uh, the, the, ish, ish. The, the draft is done. That, that's that's the that's the that's the thing. I hit a um, point where I was like, "You're gonna take this now," because I need to think about it for about a month, how to solve this problem. But if you do that and you still finish things, people will let you get away with it. But <laughs> other people, what are you doing? Let's see, let's see. History prof sure. says working on this last chapter of Politics of the Sword. Nice, almost done. Love <laughs> that. Alulin is making a simple map because I think my players are going to skip this area. <laughs> conservation of energy there. Uh, mm. Ben Rowe says we are showing a well, new uh, 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 Oh, go ahead. Let me go back a step. You said he. Wait, read that map comment again. Make sure I heard it right. A simple map because I think my players are going to skip this area. Yes, yes. Or make a deluxe map, and if they skip it, put that map somewhere else. That one too. Wait, I love that one. Yeah. I've done that one so many times. Uh, yeah, man. Ben Rose is remaining. We are showing a new restoration of the black vampire movie Ganja and Hess on Thursday night, and Maya Cade of the Black Film Archive is doing the introduction for us. And I'm just working on getting everything ready for that promotion, invoices, emails, etc. We have 56 seconds, so I'm going to go kind of quick. Goblin Wars is working on chapter one. Uh, Bast Insider is, work is reading reports. Molly Chu is working on some light housework in order to try and get my blob brain to do a Sailor Moon transformation into creative brain. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Bookish Barbarian says, tinkering with personal project, but I might doodle to take a break from the screen. 
Uh, Zinron said, I rolled over on my phone and didn't hear my alarms before this, so I'm working on getting out of bed. Love it. Yep. Oh, did you know there's a new co-working category on Twitch? That's good to know. We should use that next time, because that will help people find this. Also, I, look up, hey. I looked up Ganja and Hess, and uh, Dwayne yeah, Jones from uh, Night of the Living Dead is in it, and now I want to see this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that one. Yeah, right. All right. So that timer is about to go off. You guys ready for another sprint? Yeah, let's do this. Indeed, we're doing sprints. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, go. Eh, eh. Oh, did we do it to say? Oh, no. I'm signing and we're off. And scrollers, and so are you. Fun. Oh. That's okay. It's fine. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll like, switch up. Why is Trevor hitting reset? I'm doing it. I didn't hit a reset. Eh, whatever. You reset the reset. And now we're sprinting. And we're sprinting. Everybody's sprinting. Because we're co-working. Bass Insider, I did not mean to type you out. I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. I'm sorry. <laughs>
Ooh, 30 seconds left. All right. This is our get up and move break. So get up, stretch your legs, do whatever it is you need to do to take care of your Eat. body. We'll see you back here. That in is seconds. absolutely perfect timing because my food's ready. Hey, hey, there we go. Hey, right. precision. Wish I could say I planned it. <laughs> we may have a slight delay of V-Day. That's okay.
Everybody ready to do another sprint? Let's go. What? Am I back late? A little, but that's okay. Oh.
My cat has decided it is cat time, not writing time.
not to stop. Come for the co-working, stay for the mukbang. <laughs> okay. I can't do this if I don't type better. There we go. Okay. I would I would just like to say, and I'm still gonna stay mostly muted so I don't sound like a hyena chewing into the microphone. One of my friends is tuned in for the first time and also loves Aaron's thinking face. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I just love the just everything you're, you're going. It just goes across your face, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, this is our third break, so this one's for hand stretches and or. Oh breathing, lord. So. Get... All right. Okay. So as usual, don't do anything that hurts. We're looking for a nice gentle stretch. Uh, but first thing we're gonna do is position. So hands out front, straight up and down for palm strike. Then nice and flat knife hands. Curl nice. your fingers, flat fist, fist. Point your fingers back for bow wrist, bow wrist, fist, flat fist, knife hands, palm strike. No good, do it again, but a little bit faster. Palm strike, knife hands, flat fist, fist, bow wrist, bow wrist, fist, flat fist, knife hands, palm strike. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I just tell you, and I believe I told you this last time, that is a leopard fist that is uh, yeah, aimed at the like throat. And I those are it. crows. Those are crane fists. Those are at the eyes, you know? <laughs> So, okay, next right. time you come, you can do yep. the hand stretches and call it. <laughs> no, man, no, 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 no. You, you, do it, you do it wonderfully. I'm just saying. <laughs> if, like, you, you start with the fist and the palm strike. I'm like, she's speaking my language here. And then I'm like, Le leopard in the crane. In the, you know, <laughs> right. Great fist, great fist. All right, now we're, we're going to do some stretches. So don't pop any joints that I don't want to pop. Number one, pull it down and forward. All right, number two, turn that thumb out. Pull it straight down. It's a pretty effective wrist lock for the record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, number three, down. Pull it into your chest. Pain compliance technique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make these hands work for you. Number four. Don't pop your eyes. <laughs> After biceps today. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> After yeah, doing was... jack shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there was something I was going to say. Okay, number five. Like this. On a circle. There was something I was going to say, and I completely forgot it. It'll be brilliant when it gets here. Little shake. To the other side. <sighs> Little shakes. Mm hmm. Be the shake you want to see. <laughs> All right, number two. <clears throat> How's it going? The writing or the stretching? <laughs> stretching. It's going three. well. Until the cat decided it was cat time. Then I tried to write with one hand and it didn't work. <laughs> I've been writing with one hand because I was numbing. That's fair. <laughs> It just came upon me out of nowhere. I guess my body was like, also, hey! but if my body was like, we're going back to the gym, I require calories. So, sustenance. This, this. Five. Like this. Three, four, five. Okay. Do it one more Whew. sprint. Wow. A long break. Oh, oh yeah, we, we need, we got a, we had a, we had a topic suggestion, but we need, we need more. Ooh, we're doing topics. Topics. Penelope, can you be good? Okay, we'll see. Are we starting? You have another minute, technically. Oh, well, he's... A little quick, I guess, on the hand stretches. <laughs> You're, you're getting so good at them. I'm, like, racking my brain to think, because there was something I was going to say to be Dave, and I just... You will feel free to break in and say it when when you remember. You look beautiful and brilliant today. Oh, you stop it. it. You stop, <laughs> stop it. Keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Superman with that logo, so he looks like you. Ow, I, just... <laughs> I love that. Whole day's trying, made. Trying Whole to day's made. My cat with the uh, with the outside world. <sighs> See if that. Uh, no, like Tre Trevor. Tre Trevor's hair looks extra delightful today, for the record. Well, it's because I got a haircut on Friday, so you know it's it's, it's well, got to. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's got a haircut. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. All right. Uh, All right, let's do
One minute warning. All right, it's time for a break. Ooh, wham, 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 the wham, big break. Wham. How long do we go, by no, the way? No, we don't need that because we have our long break now. True. How long? How long do we go? Why can't I hear anybody? I don't know why. Oh, uh, B Dave, can, uh, we... can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe. You hear me? No. I can. Hear I hear you. you. Talking? I hear you. Oh, okay. Hey. I'm like, am I having a stroke? No. no it was me. Yeah. I said, uh, I say, how long are we going for? We usually uh, go till so like four. We finish this up uh, at four, so we usually chat for like 20 oh, minutes. So here. you mean the long break is the rest of the day? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can, of course, do another sprint if that's what everybody wants, which I think is what B Dave wants. That's fine. <laughs> It's no, it's don't, don't, don't let me, you know, mess up the system. Uh, I, I, the I mean, ball, the no ball's rolling, so I'm going to keep. That's what we do, but mm. uh, yeah, I, we I have would a just, couple of questions. Woo, questions. I just like to say real fast, if you see my face frowning, uh, I got back to worshiping at the Iron Temple today after like two months off because of like travel and cons and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, there's something called DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle soreness. It's why you're sore like the day after or mm. two days after. Um. You know you're in trouble when you saw the day of. Yeah. That's all I'd like to say. Yeah. Just, I got back like an hour ago, and my body's like, cool, 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 cool. Great, 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 great. Anyway. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I actually really like being sore, though. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. I, I just... know what you mean. I yeah. do not feel this way, but Kevin <laughs> yeah. and tells me this I love all it. the time, and I'm like, no, it's it. the worst feeling. I hate it. Not not only do I love it, I love fighting. I love getting all like beat up and bruised. B -Dave. Except, I, huh, what? B -Dave, what? You may have inspired me to go to the gym tomorrow morning. That's not my boy. You know, first of all, first of all, I'm going to love you and be proud of you, even if something comes up and you don't. Let's just say I that. My, my, my love is unconditional. However, <laughs> yes, get them gains. I was just going to say that I, I, I don't like getting my face scuffed up. There was a, there was a moment in time where I, I had the opportunity to pursue being a pro fighter. And I was like, problem is I won't look like a pro fighter. <laughs> and, and, and I'm a heavyweight and, and big dudes hit hard. And I was like, ah. Yeah, like. Ah. I'd be terrified. Short people who can't be a <laughs> maker here. It's true. I, d I do stuff with this all the time. Like, I would yeah. be terrified to be on the other side of a ring from you, but I cannot imagine who they would purposefully put on the other side of the ring from you. That's also it's, terrifying. Here's the thing there's some big old boys out there. That's all yeah. I have to say. So, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. So. The road le less traveled. Sorry. Right, anyway, we got questions about stuff that aren't about me. But it is stuff you can talk, speak to. I love yeah, talking so about stuff. The first one. What duties or responsibilities do you perceive <laughs> Duty. yourself as having, if any, when in the position of writing someone else's characters? Oh, I, oh, I so think many. you can speak to this with the most authority, tie-in fiction novelist Aaron M. Evans. I mean, most of my fiction, though, I don't, I don't use other people's characters. <laughs> just, like, well, I mean, like, but, like, there. But you did for Idol Champions, I did and for like, Champions, yeah. Sure. And there's some in the in the Gift of Goofix. I did use some characters, although uh, I will say my thought there was, "Give me these, let me make them cooler." Uh, yeah, that's because, fair. Because they they're video game characters, which by necessity are kind of narrowed down and and simplified. Yeah. Um, not every video game. Obviously, there's video games where you can spend a lot more complexity on that. But you don't want to, like, just be like, hey, guess what? You're wrong for liking these things. The way yeah. They are. You don't want to just chuck it all out the window. 
um, trying to trying to make sure you keep the the core of it. Have you done yeah. that, Bobby, Dave? Have I done what? Have you written other people's characters? You've done it like for games and stuff. Yeah, games and for Marvel and. Um, That's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure. Um, believe it or not. Believe it or not. The because I think you, you know, you, you friend, friend, friends of the show who are aware with of, of me, I'm largely unconcerned with the judgments of others. So usually I don't care. But the most stress that I ever felt was bringing Aaron's characters to life in front of Aaron. <laughs> yeah, that's that is yeah. a whole level of it. Like, yeah. I because I think I think the, the closest I've had, I got I've to, to that. I've had to, I've had to do all. I've had to do yes. like. Most of the characters of yeah. uh, <laughs> Brimstone Angels. I think the yeah. closest I got to that was uh, I wrote a script for um, I wrote a script for Jim Zub to read as Minsk for one of the stingers for one of the Idol Champions presents. And it was weird that I'm like, I'm going to write a character you write so that you can read it in your voice. <laughs> I think it was Mahan. I, I think Mahan... You did was Lorcan. Yeah. Lorcan, I was like, I just got to be a thirsty boy. But I think <laughs> not my hand, I, I, I really was like, I want to mess this up. Because I think at the time, that was the first like adaptation of him. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Mahen? Yeah. yeah, I think so. That's yeah. Because yeah. right, we had talked, they had talked, oh, you guys want to hear a little peep behind the screen. They actually talked about having someone come in and play Mahen. And mm -hmm. it's well, wild who it was. Yeah, I don't know if that's too much. No, we won't say that part, but it was well, wild. Tell, tell me in chat. I want to know. Tell me in chat who it was. I told you before, but I'll tell you again. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know it. And then if you shout it out, oh, there's a guy's in the... I mean, what are they going to do? But yes, I mean, I'm not. I'm trying not to. I'm, I mean, I'm trying. I'm only being medium petty. Uh, that that uh, would have been all right, though. They were like, oh, yeah. They get into the habit of having people play other people's characters for some reason yeah. i get it Which, but that would have been all right though that would have been oh, good no. casting i think yeah so. i was very excited and then they were like no never mind but but Idiot. bright side I, you got to do it and i thought that was funny that you were nervous because i was like b dave um aside from the fact that you are not scaly and i think you are not just into dudes are not mahan you're basically mahan i mean you care about your daughter <laughs> You I'm, kid, I'm, you're huge. Yeah, I'm I'm Mahan in as much as I could be lacking key aspects of his character. Yes. Yes, exactly. I'm Mahan adjacent. Yes. By the way, yeah. Aaron, I want you to know I got back into building magic decks recently, and the deck that I built from scratch the other day, I specifically put Lorcan uh, <laughs> in the deck because I'm like, it's got demons. I need demons. Lorcan's a demon. <laughs> Oh no! True. Yeah, no. Sorry, no. See, it, it is it is on there as devil. Sorry, my bad. Because okay. uh, okay. the card cares about demons and devils. <laughs> but to say there's no there's no faster way to offend a demon or a devil than to call them the other one. Yeah, it's fair. Like gross. Also, yeah. you played mascaras, and I spent the whole time going. <laughs> <laughs> I did enjoy that. That was see, but then I was there just more more to antagonize Trevor. So again, I was like, I know how to do this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, Good times. No. Um, you can play any of my characters. So, uh, but yeah, I, 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 I did have Havilar that one time, but you didn't have to talk, so that was a lot easier. Havilar, okay, let me tell you that also. I had to give myself the out of not having to talk as Havilar because you talking as Havilar and Havilar's recaps are still yeah. some of my favorite things, and I wish Havilar would recap like my life everything yeah like, like Grant, granted there is a very havilar recap-esque thing at the beginning of relics of ruin which fills me with joy <laughs> yeah um uh, I, I, I was sorry i didn't mean to interrupt trevor i would just like to say i i think um obviously if you're doing something professionally some businesses really care about that like really care about that yeah. um if it's just for fun i think that's kind of the whole point is it's sort of your fan fiction and uh, anywhere in between, I, I would just check with the person. I, I, I think uh, for me, I think the most important thing is to understand like what makes a character a character. Like Batman won't kill people, and there's very specific reasons why, which you should understand. If you're writing a Batman story where he's indiscriminately murdering, I'm looking at you, Zack Snyder. Mm -hmm. Then um, 
you know, maybe you need to reevaluate. Uh, besides that, just have a good time, I think. No, that that's really it. Like, the, the two big things for me is uh, not betraying the character in ways that the, uh, the fans of that character might, you know, feel betrayed by. Uh, but also, I really, I really just love character voice and getting that down. Like, uh, you, you know, when I was writing freely in Idol Champions uh, games and stuff like that, having, oh, well, I, I, I mean, you know, like always having something like that in, uh, in certain places, but not overdoing it. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's one for me. I swear there were other questions in here and I can't find a single one. So if you asked a question and it was one of the ones that got deleted by a moderator by accident. Or it, no, it, they, well, I didn't delete a question. <laughs> okay, I wasn't there for it. Or if I just literally am like looking at it and missing it. Please type it again. I'm so sorry. It's okay. For the, for the record, um, uh, Trevor did do this for dozens of people's characters. Yeah, I have a lot of people's characters. <laughs> okay, here's one. If there's any character you could voice, what would it be? Oh. Oh, damn. I mean, I, I kind of have voiced all the ones I wanted to voice. God damn it, B-Dave. <laughs> I got uh, my favorite B-Dave voiced character. It's the Xanathar! The Almighty Xanathar! That is exactly what I was about to say. Of course it is the Almighty Xanathar. Of course, who else could it possibly be? The Almighty Xanathar is, of course, the most brilliant, <laughs> the most beautiful, gleaming. Yes, of course, obviously, Erin M. Evans is amazing. She has beautiful <laughs> eyes, which is why she can appreciate the Almighty Xanathar's beautiful eyes, although hers do not quite glisten nearly enough. <laughs> Perhaps you must get your mucus sacs inspected. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, the the best compliment I received from the the uh, perils at the greenhouse was when I did the Xanathar scene and someone said I perfectly read that in B Dave's voice. That was the <laughs> highest compliment Just I received. Write it in caps with run on sitting. You pretty much you pretty much you pretty much got it. Yeah, it's uh, I, I think um, at least professionally from a voiceover perspective, uh, getting to voice a superhero would be dope. Um, See that that was my thought. Like I would like my first instinct was like, oh, Spider Man. But no, my I, I don't want to voice Spider Man. My, my my voice is too deep for Spider Man. Yeah, and so a little deep for Spider Man. Yeah, and so I'm like, oh God, who would you I want to voice? Mighty. I'm mighty. You know, mm. you 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 could you could do you could do a bang up Guy Gardner. Do you know That'd who Guy Gardner is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be interesting. Uh, he is a Green Lantern, and yeah, he's, he's a little bit he's a little sarcastic, a little snarky. Oh, yeah. So. You know, yeah, but he's a, he's a member of the Green Lan Green but Green Lantern Corps. Um, I, I uh, also like. Here's uh, the thing: is like I always. What's up? Sorry, who's dude from Firefly whose name is suddenly escaping me? Uh, uh, the lead of Firefly, Malcolm. Um, oh, Mal. Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion's about to play him in the new movies. He's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, the, here's the thing, like, I, I actually, when I was a kid, I really wanted to be a voice actor really badly, but, and so like, I want, I wanted to be like, I want to do the, like the weird voice and stuff. So like, part of me wants to be like, I like do something like, uh, uh, Sam Witwer's Darth Maul or, or Venom, uh, but from like the animated series and stuff like that. So like, I, I'd want to do something, I want to do something where I get animated in the booth and shit like that. <laughs> I mean, well, that's if you ever like if, if any of you have any aspire aspirations to voice acting, by the way, uh, watch Mark Hamill's footage of him playing the Joker. Oh, it's so good. It is still like you're doing everything that you can um, and like really getting into it and stuff. There, there's uh, a I, there's footage out there somewhere of when um, uh Troy Baker did Batman across from Mark Hamill's Joker. And it's so amazing just watching Troy going, oh my God, this is amazing. Like Troy is like one of the voice actors. He's like, this is incredible to watch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Benro found the two questions I couldn't find. And also we have a quick question from Tia Aurora, which is from their cat. What's oh. the first cat's name? Oh, my cat's show. name. My cat's name is Penelope. But we call her Pen Pen. <laughs> All right. Uh, Goblin Wars asked about developing your own writing style slash voice. You just gotta keep writing. Yeah. Yeah. You just get the reps in. That, yeah. That's one of those that I just feel like you suddenly notice one day you have. Yeah. Like you, you, you just write for long enough and enough things to be like, oh, I that's I that's me. I can see where that's me. I yeah. honestly, I feel like someone else will tell you 
because I find it impossible. It's really hard to see. It's during your own accent. Yeah. Like, you have one, but it probably doesn't sound like it to you. Yeah. You just made me realize that that is how I realized it because someone was just like, did you mean to do this or is this a style thing? And I went, it's a style thing. <laughs> yeah. Um... Sorry, go ahead, please. I was going to say, this is a thing I remember early on in my writing journey being very stressed about. Like, I don't have mm. a style. I don't have a voice. If I don't have a voice, how am I ever going to do this? Um, <clears throat> and and it was a case where I, I wrote a short story for an anthology that Wizards put out. And we did it like a post-mortem kind of thing in the editing department. So we, we read it and we discussed and, and the comment on my, which was extremely stressful. Let me just tell you that right now. Uh, but the comment that, that like the senior editor made was, wow, your voice sounds like you. Like, it sounds like, it sounds like you talk, except it's like translated to writings. Uh, and, and it's one of those things like, so Goblin Wars says, I noticed Aaron's for sure. I have a really hard time telling, like, I, I don't think I can oh, okay. my voice to you. I just know when it feels right, and that's yeah. how it happens. So I know people who are a little more intentional about it. Um, and yeah. I know that there are things where, like, I have tried writing in a slightly different style. It'll still sound kind of like me. If you read, like, Empire of Exiles, the, the interstitials are a different style than the bulk of the book. Um, but I've been told they both sound like me. But again, like you just, it just develops as you develop your writing. It is mm -hmm. not like you can do some things um, like to kind of work on it by trying intentionally to write like other people and sort of you yeah. end up picking up stuff from that organically. But I have never seen an exercise about developing voice that uh, actually made sense and worked for me. No. What was it? Um, Man, I cannot think straight. It it, it is all um, um, jet lag, man. Um, yep. dude, dude who wrote dude who wrote Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Hunter um, S. Thompson. Yeah, Hunter S. Thompson wrote. Uh, oh. Was it, um, um, Jesus, um, Papa who shot himself. God. Ernest uh, Hemingway. Yeah, yeah. He wrote Ernest Hemingway's stuff out word by word. Like he retyped everything Hemingway did word by word. There's um, a... to, to try and like uh, get it into his brain how Hemingway was doing what he was doing. I think a big part of it is starting to pay attention to craft. Yeah. Um, I tell people this a lot, especially with screenplays, uh, but also with novels. When you stop consuming it simply as a fan and you start looking at how they are doing what they're doing, uh, especially if there is a, a place that moves you or a place that doesn't. Uh, if something happens and you're like, that was really trash, uh, ask yourself why, you know, um, ask, ask yourself how you do it different. I will say this. Obviously, I know AI is a hot topic. Uh, people have some very firm opinions on it. But something I thought was really great when I did it was I uploaded some of my work into Chad GPT and asked for an analysis of my style. And how it described my style was like, oh shit, that is my style. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it, it was really, it was really neat to read. Yeah. Interesting. I the the reason I said, oh yeah, was because I do remember reading or watching an interview with Hunter S. Thompson about uh writing style and like uh, voice in his journalism. Uh I can't find it right now, but I, I I know that exists out there somewhere. Yeah. I mean I I think that's all well and good. I just think when you do the reps it it will reveal oh, yeah. itself. And pending what you want to do, I hate to say this, there is some value in not necessarily having a very strong voice. Uh, I know a very successful um, comic book writer who I shall not name that writes on a lot of topics. And it's like they disappear into the, the writing every time. Um, mm. And it's just you have no idea who wrote it if it wasn't written on the cover. Um, mm. your mileage may vary with that. I'd rather, personally, I'd rather somebody absolutely know this is a B. Dave Walter Spider-Man comic, but, you know, your mileage may vary. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I had to make sure kids get picked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's... All right, new, well, one more question here. Yeah. How do you not hate editing? <laughs> I do! Uh, <laughs> I I'm, I can edit. I am not an editor. It is not my strength, man. Uh, it is just not my strength. And yeah. I find 
obviously different people have varying skills at both, but I do find people tend to spend their XP on one or the other. I, I do find people are really great at making the thing or really great at improving the thing, and very rarely are people great at both of those things. But, you know, yeah, you might be different. I think it sucks. <laughs> yeah, not a fan. I actually don't mind. I guess we're. I guess it depends on what you mean. <clears throat> Um, I, I, I will admit, I hate being copy edited. I'm glad those people do their job, makes my work shine, but boy, do I feel like fighting every single comment because, mm, yep, just, I don't mm. know, it just makes me grouchy, but I love a, I love a revision because to me, it's that case of like, you get it down messy and then you tidy it up. And so that might be, it, but okay, before I say any of that, you might not like it. And, and like B. David and Trevor are saying, like, that just might be the case. And that's okay. You got to learn to do it, but you yeah. don't have to like it. Yeah. Um, yep. Like, yeah. I, I I try to write a fairly clean first draft, but like most of the time I still have to go back and fix up a bunch of shit. Like, everyone that, well, everyone that says that they do write a clean first draft, I'm like, you are a wizard and you don't actually exist. <laughs> I told you, not, I say 95% of what I mean the first time. I really do. Oh, I, no, no, like, but, I just, but, but in like college. Yeah, but like, I mean, do you still it. have to go back and edit stuff though, right? No. God, you just it's, I, I told you <laughs> in college, I would get into so much trouble because I had a teacher that insisted on three drafts that oh. I would write my paper and then I'd go write two decoy lesser papers. <laughs> uh, and that's what I had to do. Now, again, y'all, yes, I am a writing professional. I ain't run no, worn no Pulitzers. So. You know, I'm not trying to put myself out here as like the be all end all of the craft. <laughs> but uh yeah, that, that that's 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 my, that's my I process. Do, what, what, what I, I do love like. that flex though that you wrote wrote two shitty papers <laughs> because you wrote a good one first. Like that's Jesus. <laughs> it, it's but to to Aaron's point, and this is the this is the difficulty though of having a relationship with an editor, and it's great when they're a good one and it's terrible when they're a bad one. Mm. Um that it's when they come through and it's like taste based, you know, yeah. when it's like, I think this would be better. And I'm like, I think I didn't ask you. You, know? <laughs> so you got to have somebody who you respect. Yeah. Otherwise it's, it's bumpy and slow going. I do yeah. think that's definitely the case. I think for me, that helps a lot. I, I think if you're, uh, if you're making edits and revisions in a vacuum, you would be well served to find somebody uh, who can give you feedback that you respect yeah. because that's like, like you never. It's hard to just keep staring at a thing from the same angle and see new stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I I just like the process of kind of going back over and like filling it out. Like, well, like, I, lots of bits that I don't give enough room. To well, read. like I I will say that like for like when I was writing for Isle Champions. Editing was um, uh, grammar and spelling and stuff like those yeah. ones. I rarely ever went back and actually rewrote a room like it, like pretty much my first go through it. That was it. Um, but I, I, I still I still hate like I hate going back to a thing. <laughs> I think that's really the thing. I'm like, no, I wrote it. It's out. It's done. <laughs> I, I, I will. I'm so confused by this feeling, but you're not alone. <laughs> I know that it's it's. Um... Uh, I will say this is the importance of um, um, putting it in a drawer for a while and getting some separation <sighs> from it, you know, because yeah. otherwise your brain will show you uh, what you meant to see, what you meant to do, and not what you did. I mean, so for yeah. at Isle Champions, I'd get a max of maybe two days on that. <laughs> sure, but I mean, even even two days would be a lot. It was, it was, it was still better than like, there were some days where I finished writing and then immediately went into editing and I hated that. Yeah. Uh, Tia actually said something to me just yesterday and I'm trying to figure out, uh, the, the exact thing she said. I'm going to interrupt on the next, next point. Cause we were, <laughs> I made, I made the point about, um, the worst thing you wrote is better than the best thing that you did not write. Yeah. Uh, in, in she, I'm, I'm almost there. Uh, she have a comeback on that one. Uh, published over perfect. That's what she said. Published oh. over perfect. Yeah, man. Just get it done. Huh. Just get it done. You know, get it done. I you, like you that. 
yeah, you can always um, you can always fix it later. Can't fix it when it's just in your head. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there were a way. That would be great. Uh, that puts us at the end of fashion. Let's see if anybody has any last things to add. Well, considering I had younglings, uh, I, there's younglings outside the door now. <laughs> see, see that? I don't, I don't know if you see the door opening. Uh, like, so, it's like hyenas out there. Like if I don't come back, it's like Jurassic Park in this piece. So I guess they <laughs> They've need They've learned something. to open doors. That's true. <laughs> they have. That's when the attack comes, not from the front, but from the side. Yeah. So let me, yeah. Let I me go. Before you go, uh, where can people find you and what awesome things are you working on? Wherever I can hang out with you guys. Um, <laughs> we do say a lot of words together. Also, I'm, I'm B. Dave Walters everywhere. And I'd be remiss if you're interested in learning about writing. I have a writing course, 14 Day Writer. Save you five years off of your journey into going a pro. You can uh, catch it on my website, theundisputedacademy.com. And since you were here all the way to the end working away, I'll give you a promo code, 14 Day 50. You can get it for 50% off. There you go. It's my I'm gift to you. I'm actually going to go grab a link from the description of writing about dragons and shit and drop it Ooh. in the chat. Ooh. Yep. And uh, get them gains and whatever that means to you. <laughs> well, watch whoever does that. I'll go ahead. I'm Aaron M. Evans. You can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Aaron M. Evans and on Instagram at All the Ironies. But mostly you can find me on the Dungeon Scrollers Discord. Uh, for uh, t the rest of Dungeon Scholar's schedule, today at uh, 6 p.m., we have the uh, return of Isekai Realms with their Buffyverse uh, mini <laughs> arc. Uh, <laughs> just in time for a spooky season. They uh, legit are just pacing by the door. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what they want. They're and it circling. It be this important. Like, it's, yeah, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Um, and come back Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific for a new season of Grey Mantle, uh, our gothic D&D &D, uh, season with a bunch of thieves. I Guys, I actually should check with them what is going to be going on because I don't know. But it's... Uh, <laughs> I, I think last time I asked, they said, be gay, do crimes. So if you like it, that's what we got. Uh, Good life also, advice. Tune in for our podcast, Writing About Dragons and Shit. Uh, yeah. Wherever you download your podcasts. Um, and I think we have a new episode going this week. Yeah, we're recording. Well, we have to record that one. <laughs> we're recording this week, probably. Are Sometime. We? Okay. Right. Yeah, we'll yeah. figure it out. Oh, yeah, it's a new week, isn't it? I'm like, yeah. we just did this, and it's like, uh, <laughs> last week. Listen, Got you it. have to get rid of your jet lag, and it's going to take a while. That's Man. fair. I, I, y'all, I still cannot tell you with accuracy exactly what day or time it is. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. We're on the other side of the globe. This is entirely fair. All right, Look, Trevor, I, tr I traveled so far in one day, I saw the sun rise and set over the Pacific Ocean in the same day. Oh That's cool so, as hell. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, what, what was the thing for me? What was going on? What it, who you are you? What are you working on? Oh, who am I? Uh, I'm Trevor Bettis. Uh, I write things and stuff. Uh, <laughs> you can find my social media. You can find my social media ghost on all the social medias at the Trevor. There's an A hiding in there, but more importantly, you can find me on the Dungeon Scrollers Discord server, uh, which, I mean, if you're here and you haven't joined yet, what are you doing? Come on. Let, j j we'll put a link in the chat and you can join up. It's a really good and fun time. Uh, and uh, you can talk with a bunch of other awesome people and people like B. Dave, Aaron, and I. Well, B. Dave does, but he doesn't like Discord. Don't 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 push him on that. I understand it. It's a bad time. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll be around. And, uh, and yeah, you can... Uh, uh, catch me doing a bunch of streams all over this channel uh, at different times that I can't remember right now because my brain's kind of mush and I found out that I have to go be social uh, tonight. So, uh, my, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, I believe well, in you. Until next week, get some good work done and don't forget to rest. Bye. Bye.